Hi, in this video, I'll be going over an IB Applications and Interpretation SL question from May 2024, Time Zone 1, Paper 1, and we'll be covering expected values and an arithmetic sequences question. Let's begin. All right, so here in this question, we have a spinner, and in that spinner, we have a chance of either winning money, so a 40% chance of winning $5 if you land in this area, or losing money if you land in any of these areas. And so the question is asking to find that expected value, that amount that we expect someone to win if they spin the spinner. All right, so in order to do that question, what we're going to have to do is multiply each of the dollar amounts by the percentages. So first we have that 40% chance of winning $5. So we're going to turn turn that 40% into 0.4 and multiply it by 5. And then we're going to add each of the other ones. So 10% chance, so turn that to a decimal. So that becomes 0.1 times 8. Um, however, that is a loss, so that should be a negative 8. And then uh, we keep going. 0.2, that's the 20% there, times 5, and finally 30%, so 0.3 times 10. Oh, and all of these are negative. So negative 5 and negative 10. Let me make some room, move this over. All right, so once we put that all into the calculator, we get $2.80 but that's negative $2.80, and that is our expected value. And that's the answer for part A1. Then part A2 wants an interpretation of this number. So that negative $2.80 is what we expect anyone who plays this game to win. So the expected amount that we expect someone who plays this game on average to win. Notice that it is a negative amount, and so that means that's the expected amount. We expect someone who plays this game, on average, to lose. All right, so on average, we expect a player to lose $2.80. And so it's not guaranteed, this is an expected number. So you do have to use language like on average. All right, so let's keep going and continue with this question. So here it says that to encourage a person to keep playing the game, Zach increases um, the winning price to $5, then to $6, and then it keeps in increasing that winning by a dollar. And they wanna know um, they want to know what will make this game fair. And when they say make the game fair, they mean they want a result where the expected value is equal to zero. That means you don't expect the person to win any money. You don't expect the person to lose any money. So we want an expected value of zero dollars. All right, so in order to figure that out, what we're going to do is look at all the losses combined and then we can figure out how long it takes to even out the winning which i'm going to highlight in a different color with that loss so anytime he plays this game what is he expected to lose if we don't think about that green if we don't think about that winning here so we're just considering the losses so we're going to do the same thing again Expected loss, let's put B, one, expected loss. And this doesn't change, it's just the winning that's changing. So that's equal to $8 times 0.1, that's at 10%, plus $5 times 20%, so 0.2, plus $10 times 30%, so 0.3. And when we put all of this in our calculator, we get that that expected loss is $4.80. So that means that this 
game will be fair once the winning amount gets up to four dollars and eighty cents so now we have to look at the winning part and see how long it will take or how many games it will take for that winning to get up to four dollars and eighty cents so let's look at what happens in the beginning in the beginning so let's say the first game the winning amount so that part highlighted in green is going to be equal to five dollars times forty percent so times 0.4 and that is two dollars so that's not enough to even it out we want a number that matches that 480 that we have here and that's obviously not 480 oops that's supposed to say two dollars my bad there we go all right so what happens in the second game in the second game we up the amount that is being uh, given as that price and we multiply it by 0.4 and we get two dollars and forty cents and in the third game and we could keep doing this but it's easier and quicker if after a while we see a trend so that third game seven times 0.4 and we get two dollars and eighty cents all right so now we have enough information to see that from game to game, the winning is increasing by 0.4 or 40 cents. We know that this is the starting amount. We know that this is the amount is jumping by each time. So that is our common difference. And here we have an arithmetic sequence. So we want to win or we want to have an expected winning of $4.80 that we have right here. So we are going to use our arithmetic sequence formula, un equals u1 plus n minus 1d, but we want to know what the number of games is, and they said that should be k, so k minus 1 times d. So our un value, the amount that we need to get up to is $4.80. So 480 is equal to $2, so that's that starting amount that we had here, plus K minus 1 times that common difference, which we found to be 0.4. From there, we can solve for K. So first, we use the distributive property. We have 480 is equal to 2 plus 0.4K minus 0.4 join our like terms and we get that 480 is equal to 1.6 plus 0.4 K now we work on isolating that K so we can subtract 1.6 from both sides and we get that 0.4 K is equal to 3.2 and finally we divide both sides by 0.4 and we get that k is equal to 8 and that tells us that it's on the eighth game that the game will actually be fair all right so our final question in this number number 12 our final question is saying explain why zach expects to raise money from the games Emily plays. All right, what does that even mean? How, why does he expect to raise money from the games Emily plays? Well, remember that even though that eighth game was fair, meaning there was no average gain or loss, there were seven games before that where there was a loss, which means that because of those seven games before that, he will make money. All right, so let's, let's write that down. So just to make sure you know how to answer that question formally, even though the eighth game was fair, the seven games before were not.
right. So this was the last question in or May 2024 time zone one paper one question. And I am going to be moving on to our paper two. So stay tuned and you will get to see the work solutions for those as well.